Look how they massacred my boy. Look how they massacred my boy. Vegeta's story mode in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I knew Vegeta was done dirty in Dragon Ball. I got used to it at this point. As a Vegeta fan, I've been used to Vegeta being done dirty. But what have you done to his story mode in Sparking Zero? Let's take a look. So, first transgression. Vegeta only has fights up until the Majin Buu arc. He doesn't even get to fight in the Saiyan arc. You don't even get to fight Goku against him. Which I guess at first I was like, okay, fine, Goku wins. I'll allow it. But then you start the Frieza saga, skipping the Dodoria fight. Dodoria is literally in the video game. Why do you feel the need to skip his fight? It makes no sense. But okay, then you have me fight Zarbon and win the fight, but also kind of lose. And then you just let me watch Vegeta beat him instead of having me defeat him myself in a cutscene. Okay, cool. Then when we get to the point where Ginyu changes bodies with Goku, we don't even get to fight Jace as Vegeta and finish him off. Why? What's the what's the reason here? It's not like he has too many fights in here. You've literally had him fight three times. And then we get to the Frieza fight. And I think, okay, here we go. This is where they're going to redeem themselves. They're going to have a what if where Vegeta beats Frieza. Maybe he turns into a Super Saiyan against Frieza. Let's fucking go. Well, I guessed wrong. You just lose and there's nothing you can do about it. There's no what if. There's no branching storyline. You just have to lose. Well, you don't lose. You just wait until time runs out and Goku comes to save you. But that's it. Golden opportunity missed there. So that's the Frieza saga for you in a nutshell for Vegeta. About four fights and no branching storylines. Then we get to the Cell saga. And I will give you this. Vegeta only has about three fights in the Cell Saga, and you gave me a good, nice what if. Spoiler alert, if you don't want to see the what if, I'm about to say what it is. But we got a Father's Son Final Flash that defeats Cell in the Cell games. It is absolutely dope. I actually love that scene, so I'll give you credit there. But there's not much you can do in the Cell Saga with Vegeta, so I'm glad you at least gave us a nice what if. You did skip a Cell Jr. fight, but whatever, not a big deal. Then we get to the Majin Buu arc, and again, I'm going to spoil the what if here. Another nice what if. But you get to decide whether or not to let Bobbity take over your mind and you can fight off the brainwashing and decide to defeat the boar on your own and then you get to fight Goku at the end in the world tournament. And it's really kind of dope. I like it. And then there's another what if at the end where you can defeat Majin Buu with Vegeta and you and Goku kind of finish him off together. That's also dope. So in terms of the Majin Buu saga, you did it fine for Vegeta. I don't mind it. But little did I know, that's where Vegeta's story ends. I'm sorry, what? You're not going to give him any Dragon Ball Super fights. Are you kidding me? Goku had two fights in the Beerus Resurrection F Saga. You couldn't give Vegeta two fights, I'm sorry, but he fought Beerus as a Super Saiyan. You could have had that be a fight. You could have had him fight Golden Frieza because that happened. So, okay, we're skipping those two arcs. You guys already skipped the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament for some reason. I don't want to get into that, but you skipped that in the entire game for everybody's story. Okay. Then we get to the Future Trunks Saga. I'm sorry, you're not going to have Vegeta, one of the three main characters, have any fights in that saga. Not against Goku Black. One of his coolest fights in the entire Dragon Ball Super series you're not going to have? Okay, sure, sure, why not? Get to the Tournament of Power. You're not going to at least have him fight Topo, let alone help Goku fight Jiren. Are you kidding me? I know in Goku's story you already get the chance to switch in Vegeta and fight Jiren with him. I get that. But this is Vegeta's story. It's a video game. Give us more fights. What are you doing? You already botched the story mode with the little pictures and no narration. I have to read it off myself. I might do a separate video if you guys want to see that. I'll do a separate video reviewing the entire story mode and just what I think about it. But you already botched part of the story mode in that sense. You can just give us more fights. You could have had what ifs in there, like what if Beerus lost to Vegeta? You could have had what ifs in there, like what if Vegeta beat Goku Black? What are you doing? Look how you massacred my boy! So that's my little rant on Vegeta's story mode, guys. Comment below if you agree or disagree with me. There are just random omissions here for absolutely no reason. And I'm done with this Vegeta disrespect that goes on and on and on in Dragon Ball, even in the video games, apparently. I thought the video games were the one place he could shine. And he had one shining moment here, I guess, with the Cell, defeating Cell, what if? That, that was cool. But other than that, you literally skipped three whole arcs. Three whole arcs where he's a main character. You skipped it. That's disrespectful. So anyways, guys, like the video, subscribe again, comment whether or not you agree with me, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video, back to normal gameplay. I just wanted to post this because it really kind of annoyed me. And with that being said, I love you all. Take it easy and peace.